Hi guys and welcome to hybrids.co.nz We are going to show you the first in the world high voltage battery analyzer which is capable of uh, measuring capacity of the high voltage traction batteries from the vehicles like uh, Toyota Prius or Toyota Camry or Honda Hybrid etc. Safety first, we are going to put the gloves on and connect the voltage detective line to the battery first. In this example uh, we will connect the half of the pack of the uh, Prius NHW20 battery which comprises of 28 modules or 28 individual uh, batteries. Uh, you can first connect uh, Peers, measure peers and if there is any discrepancy uh, then go down to individual modules. I will show you how you connect individual modules. Safety plug is removed and you start from a positive terminal of the battery pack connecting the first module to the channel 1. Okay, 1, 3, 5, Seven. It's easy, you just connect them to pluses. Nine. Thirteen. And uh, you would need to connect number fifteen, which would be ground of the uh, channel fourteen. All right. You can leave it like that. Let's connect uh, the opposite side. Starting with number two number four number six eight reminding you that uh, safety plate is removed by the way number ten number twelve and number 14. Uh, reminding you that uh, number 15 is connected from the end, uh, which serves as the ground for the channel number 14. We can leave it like that, it doesn't matter. Okay, we finish connecting with that. The other side is not connected to the analyzer yet. Now we can connect this cable to the analyzer. You see, the cable used uh, is the special insert which prevents it to be short-cutted when touch anything metal. In position. Now we need to connect a few other cables. Uh, the Interface cable goes like that. We also need to connect the serial cable, which would be in control of uh, high voltage relays. And we also need uh, to connect a few uh, temperature sensors. In this case, we would connect uh, a couple of sensors to our charger and a um, few other sensors, three sensors to the battery pack. Okay. Like that. These sensors, just normal um, thermistors which we will place somewhere uh, in the middle and uh, at the two ends of uh, um, first footing uh, modules. You can place these uh, temperature sensors actually anywhere where you want to control the temperature. Um, say first module, the last module and somewhere in the middle. 
And at this stage we can switch the power and the main computer on. Sometimes you may wish to control temperature inside your charger or uh, your load. And for that reason you may have the temperature sensors installed inside. We have a couple installed in uh, this charger and we will connect uh, uh, the first two uh, lines for temperature sensing uh, to the charger. We can switch uh, the software on now. And here you go. It shows us uh, the uh, voltage of the individual uh, first uh, 14 modules and also shows us temperature in this case in Celsius but what we'll do we'll uh, change the uh, uh, measuring to Fahrenheit and show you in Fahrenheit so in Celsius it's currently uh, about 22 degrees uh, we've changed settings now to Fahrenheit and uh, it shows something about 71 uh, degrees Fahrenheit now we need uh, to connect a couple of more cables, so one to the battery and another one to the charger. When you connect cables to the battery pack, uh, always remove the safety plug. In this example we'll connect a cable to the whole pack, not just to the first 14 modules, but to the whole pack. You can do it here. Minus and plus. This goes then into the analyzer. You have probably noticed that uh, on the analyzer channel 9 is not showing anything. That's because we've removed the safety plug. Special connectors are used to connect analyzer to the battery and to the charger or the load. This connector is designed in such a way that it cannot be short-cutted when it touches metal surface and also only the one which goes to battery can be plugged in here. The one which goes to the charger is different uh, shape you can't mix two together. Insert, turn, click on in position. It will not fall off to disconnect. You have to slide, turn, remove. The other end goes into either charger, in charge mode, or it goes to the load in the discharge mode. Now we will plug the this safety plug and you will notice the channel 9 on the analyzer will be now running. Here we go. The analyzer has multiple alarms which would deactivate high voltage relay and disconnect battery from the charger or from uh, the load. If the certain condition occur, the temperature would rise or the current would rise or time lapse or voltage on the individual modules will drop or rise above or below uh, preset level. We have here the manual check of the relay. We can click on that. You probably notice that that line goes on and you hear the click and uh, it's currently charging the pack if you click it's disconnected now we will show you how it will work if for example the temperature accidentally rise we start charging it it's now charging what if temperature measured by one of the five uh, temperature sensors will rise. Now it's uh, 71, 73 Fahrenheit on sensors 
um, three, four, and two connected to the battery. Let's say uh, the temperature rises. Here's another example. Alarm has been set for current not to exceed 1.2 amperes. Uh, that's to protect uh, the equipment in case something goes wrong uh, with the charger, for example. Currently, it's uh, charging, it's about 1 ampere. The uh, high voltage relay light is on, charger is charging the battery. Let's uh, increase current a bit and see what will happen. Current too high. Current too high. Relay has been disconnected. Charging is no longer happening. In discharge mode, when you actually going to measure capacity of your battery. Instead of uh, connecting uh, this cable to charger, we will connect it to uh, the load, or we'll call it discharger. Uh, in effect, that's uh, a resistor inside this box. Uh, there's the uh, uh, couple of coolers. You hear the clicking sound of uh, the high voltage relay and discharge has started. It's about 1.6 amperes of discharge right now. At any time you can stop uh, the cycle uh, by pressing the stop button. Thank you for watching and please visit our site at www hybrids.co.nz